state institutions for the mentally retarded, and I think uh, particularly at Willowbrook that we have a situation that borders on uh, a snake pit and that the children live in filth, uh, but uh, many of our fellow citizens are suffering tremendously because lack of attention, lack of, lack of imagination, lack of uh, adequate manpower. There's very little future for the children or for those who are in these institutions. Uh, both need uh, a tremendous overhauling. I'm not saying that those who, who are the attendants there or the ones that run the institution are at fault. I think all of us are at fault. And uh, I think it's just uh, long overdue that something be done about it. More than six years since Robert Kennedy walked out of one of the wards here at Willowbrook and told newsmen of the horror he'd seen inside. He pleaded then for an overhaul of a system that allowed retarded children to live in a snake pit. But that was way back in 1965 and somehow we'd all forgotten. I first heard of this big place with the pretty sounding name because of a call I received from a member of the Willowbrook staff, a Dr. Michael Wilkins. The doctor told me he'd just been fired because he'd been urging parents with children in one of the buildings, building number six, to organize so they could more effectively demand improved conditions for their children. The doctor invited me to see the conditions he was talking about, so unannounced and unexpected by the school administration, we toured building number six. The doctor had warned me that it would be bad. It was horrible. There was one attendant for perhaps 50 severely and profoundly retarded children. 